After a long break away from the internet, Nikita Dragon returned this week with a very emotional video talking about where she's been and why she left. Nikita has been off the internet for a while now. Prior to her newest video, she hadn't posted in over seven months. She's only tweeted a handful of times this year, and the only place she's kind of been active on is Instagram. You guys have also probably noticed Nikita's absence on drama channels. Last year, it felt like every single day there was some new drama with Nikita. Nikita getting into fights with people, shading people, or saying something offensive. It was a weekly occurrence at one point last year. She was getting into drama with Trisha Paytas, went on that whole rant about influencers being celebrities. Get the fuck over it, bitch. Like, literally get the fuck over it. Released that song exposing her personal relationships and getting tons of backlash pretended to be invited to the Met Gala, and even faked her passing for views. 2021 was Nikita's prime when it came to drama. And then suddenly, everything stopped. Nikita went silent for a few weeks and then came back with a very concerning Instagram story, claiming she was involuntarily hospitalized. She wrote, I have been detained for the past eight days under a temporary detaining order in magistrate. I was kicked out on Thanksgiving Day. I walked the streets in the cold. I got picked up by the cops. I was hospitalized. I was administered into a psychiatric hospital involuntarily. God, I may never understand why, but I will always take on every battle. I believe in myself. At this time, I ask for privacy. Family and friends, I love you. When I'm ready to talk about what happened, I will. This stigma around mental health is tragic. What they do not understand, they shame. History is not kind to women that think like a man. They just call us crazy. She also shared photos of herself from the hospital and fans were really concerned. This was totally out of the ordinary for Nikita and people were really worried that something really bad happened to her during her trip home. Only a few weeks prior to all of this happening, Nikita posted a clickbait video titled, Rest in Peace Nikita Dragon. It ended up being a sponsored video for some shoe website, which kind of annoyed people, but she also talked about going through a rebirth. She said the old Nikita Dragon was done and a new one was coming. This is a new me. Not like actually though, because I haven't technically gotten a new nose job since like my last video. So physically I'm the same, but like inside, like the inside plastic parts of me, like the doll parts have Change. She also made a long Instagram post that said, Rest in peace, Nikita Dragon. I have had many rebirths in my life, physically, professionally, privately. I have found myself, lost myself, then completely fell from knowing myself at all. Life will do that to you. The pursuit of fame, money, and garner will do that to you. The beauty in falling and losing yourself is that there's always a choice to get your ass back up and start over, to rebirth yourself. I need to lay to rest an old chapter of my life in order to birth a new one. One filled with gratitude, humility, and valuable lessons learned from past mistakes. I have given so much focus to my external transformation, and now it's time to focus on my internal transformation. To pause everything and do the work to take care of myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I am thrilled to step into this new era together. I love you all so much. Thank you for your support. So obviously, something deeper was going on with Nikita and people were really worried about her. After her hospital visit, she did say that she was safe back in LA and accomplished what she wanted to accomplish with her hometown visit. Even though Nikita opened up and was really vulnerable with sharing her story, a lot of people still had a hard time fully believing her. Before this, Nikita was known for her trolling, so people were finding it really difficult to fully come out and trust Nikita. Despite some people not being able to fully trust her, she still got tons of love and support sent her way, even from people that weren't really Nikita fans. I think a huge thing that we need to remember is sometimes the people that are acting out and begging for attention are actually the ones who are hurting the most and dealing with something internally, which seemed to be the case with Nikita. Nikita has stayed pretty quiet on social media for the last part of 2021. And then in January this year, her Hype House Netflix show was released. During all of 2021, Nikita was bragging about her part in the Hype House show on Netflix, but honestly, it didn't really do her any favors. A lot of people just found it so weird that she was hanging out with all these like super young high school age kids as a 25 year old. It dug into a lot of her past drama like the pandemic partying and even her best friend Larray calling her out for blackfishing. 
after the release of the Hype House show, Nikita once again went silent. She pretty much went off of social media, except for Instagram, and she definitely hasn't been involved in any drama. That all changed this week when Nikita finally returned to the internet with a video titled, What Happened? Nikita started off the video by saying she's really scared to open up about the topics that she wants to talk about. She said the past few months have been some of the hardest of her life to the point that her situation was actually debilitating. Nikita came out and admitted to her audience that she was diagnosed as bipolar. You know, I've always said that YouTube is my diary and I've shared every part of my life. And for some reason, this is one of the hardest things for me to talk about. In some ways, I feel guilty for feeling this way. Today, I would like to share that I am bipolar and it feels really great to say that. A really honest and quite brave thing that Nikita said was that when she was transitioning, she thought that would be it. She would transition from a boy to a girl and all her dreams would be completed and she would be fine and not have any other problems. Then she had her first manic episode, which pushed her into a near mental breakdown. About six months ago, I had my first manic episode and my first almost mental breakdown. I just felt a little bit lost. Then Nikita opened up about what happened to her during her trip back home to Virginia. She thought going home would help her reconnect, but it actually made her confront all of her issues. Nikita said she started to remember the great things from her childhood, but at the same time, she started to remember the not so good things. She felt like she was losing touch with reality and started to experience a manic episode. That it just felt like my whole life and existence was like ripped out from under me. And um, I was going through a manic episode. And if you guys don't know what a manic episode is, it's just a whirlwind. It starts at like a five and then you get to a six and then a seven and an eight and a nine and a 10 and 11 and a 12. Like it's just, it's almost like your gears and your brain are starting to turn and turn and turn. And it's almost like a car that, um, overheats or when the engine explodes if you think about bipolar sometimes people think you're happy one second you're sad one second you're this you're that like you just jump from moods to moods but it's so much different than that from what i've been learning it's almost like two opposite ends right you're either manic or you're depressed and somewhere in the middle is normalcy nikita said during her trip back home she was visiting all these places from her childhood she went to her old house, her old school, and it was bringing up these really crazy memories for her, ultimately triggering this manic episode. Then Nikita talked about Thanksgiving Day, the day that she was admitted to the hospital. She said that she left her family's house, walked the street in the cold, an altercation happened that she doesn't really want to get into, ultimately landing her in a police car and then in the hospital. And it's like so embarrassing to think about now, you know? It led to, on Thanksgiving, me walking out of the house um, by myself and freezing in a dress and stripper heels. There was another moment I won't get into, but like an altercation happened and I ended up in a police car. I got brought to a hospital. I had to be evaluated from head to toe and I was placed under a detaining order, which basically means you're a threat to yourself or other people. Nikita said that she's been working on her mental health ever since, but it's still gonna take a while to totally understand and comprehend what happened to her. Nikita also talked about her journey with medication. She said she really struggled with the idea of being medicated and opened up about the whole process of trying to find something that works for you. I know the talk of medication is going to come into play in all of this and I think that's an important part of taking control of your mental health and I think everyone has their right to do whatever they want but personally I have always been conflicted about medications and I'll be honest about that and especially being newly diagnosed as bipolar or kind of going through all these things I was scared to be medicated. And there were times that I'd be on medications that just didn't work with me. I think the frustrating part is like kind of going through those tests and doing all that work, 
but it is important. Nikita ended things off by saying she's in a much better place now, but she does have days where she still struggles. I think Nikita was really brave for opening up about not only her diagnosis, but also her own personal struggles with bipolar. I'm sure there's gonna be tons of people who will watch this and probably feel less alone in their own mental health journey, or maybe even feel inspired to seek help. Nikita was really honest about her struggles, especially when it comes to medication. I know there's a lot of people that sometimes feel shame about taking medication, but the more people that talk about it, the more normalized it will become. Nikita is receiving tons of support in her comments, which is actually really nice to see. Nikita might not be everyone's favorite influencer, but like I said earlier, sometimes a behavior like we've seen from Nikita in the past is just a cry for help. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. I hope all you guys are doing okay, and I'll see you next time.